Hey YouTube, Vinny here for another Cap of the Week, and this week we're going to go into the Atlanta Braves organization. It's not been a good year for the Braves, but America's team ha certainly has had great cap designs over the years, and this one might become familiar to you viewers, especially those of Hank Aaron fans. This is the Atlanta Braves cap from 1972 to 1980, most famously seen in 1974 when Aaron broke the home run record and he passed Babe Ruth. So let's get into it. So this is a replica. This is a Roman cap, Roman Pro. Uh, this, based on the tagging, this is probably made in 94, probably the last year Roman was around before the strike hit and they had to unfortunately close business. But anyway, we take a look and the embroidery is pretty solid. You got we got a lowercase a. We got a trucker panel cap, however, for this purpose. It's the same material as the other panels, so my guess is this is an all wool cap. I'm not exactly sure if the front panels were nylon, as seen before for the Toronto Blue Jays and Montreal Expos, but we take a look otherwise. It's all blue around, no MLB logo on the back, and then we take a look here on the inside. It's Kelly Green underbrim, and we see, let's take a look into the tags. Roman, and this is Randolph, Massachusetts, USA, uh, size 7, uh, very clean on the inside as the caps were back then, no logos or anything of that nature. And we can even take a look into the tags, Cooperstown Collection, this seems to be the last iteration, uh, we'll give you a little history about the Roman cap. Um, unfortunately, what I loved about Roman is they had these little hang tags that would show you the history of the team, but for these later models, they don't seem to have any. So. They don't have any extra information, so they usually give you a tidbit like Atlanta Braves in 1972, 1980, and some little history about it. But this cap spans the days of Hank Aaron's last days with the Braves to Ted Turner's ownership and his one day managing the team. So it certainly goes, uh, changes generations. And finally, in 1981, they went back to the classic uppercase A stylized and you know, they've gone through a few iterations, different colors, but otherwise it's been the same uh, A cap that they even used beforehand. Before 1972, it was also an A cap, a uh, uppercase A that we're used to seeing. But we take a look again, and this is one of the better caps you'll see. I believe right now the Braves are using this design for their Diamond Era batting practice caps, and so it's pretty much the same type of cap. But anyway, guys, we'll see you next week for Cap of the Week.